The goal of encryption is to transform a plain text into an unintelligible form. That is, given that the attacker can obtain the cipher text, we don't want the attacker to be able to learn about the plain text. In order to accomplish this, we apply two principles. The first is called confusion. It is a way to obscure the relationship between the key and the cipher text. That is, although the attacker can obtain the cipher text, the attacker will not be able to find out the key. This is typically achieved with substitution. For example, in the generalized substitution ciphers that we have discussed, each letter can be mapped to any other letter. Confusion or substitution alone is not sufficient. For example, even when a letter can be mapped to any other letter, the attacker can use statistical analysis of letter frequencies to break the scheme. Therefore, the second principle is diffusion. This means that the inference of one plain text bit is spread over many bits in the ciphertext, and the goal is to hide the statistical properties of the plain text. For example, instead of mapping an English letter to another English letter, we can map a letter to parts of many A bit letters. And if you do that, then the frequency distribution of English letters would not be very useful in Kutta analysis. We can achieve diffusion with permutations. Further, we need this combination to affect every bit of the ciphertext. Therefore, typically, a block cipher has multiple rounds where each round combines substitution and permutation. That is, the first round affects some parts of the ciphertext, and the next round further propagates these effects into other parts of the ciphertext. Eventually, all bits of ciphertext are affected.